Hey YouTube, it's New Life for Jen or Jen, or my YouTube name is CNJ1977. I am coming on today because I've watched some amazing videos today. Um, after my struggles with the book and maintenance and all this stuff, um, I watched Black Candy's video um, today and she is so real with things and she makes me laugh and it actually just kind of clicked for me today that you know this isn't supposed to be a perfect mix of you know being on it all the time every single minute of the day and that it's okay to have things that are not on the lap band rules and you can still be successful and then I just watched Ashley's video and you know she's four and a half years in maintenance with RNY and you know she described it pretty much the same way that Diana did in her video that you know the battle of it is 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 making the better choice on the next time and not beating yourself up for the choice that was bad to begin with and I think that's what I was getting so caught up in as you know, it seems to me that there's a handful of people that document regularly their maintenance journey. And a lot of it is follow these rules and do this 200%. And that was what I was going after. I was chasing something that maybe wasn't realistic. Because um, realistically, I'm, I'm not kidding, if I were to stay with the rules every single day, I feel I would keep dropping weight. No issues, I would be dropping weight. I've had to increase my calories to not lose anymore. And sometimes it's, it's stuff that's not lap band approved. You know what I'm saying? That I'm putting in my mouth to get those calories. So, I don't know. This journey is just about learning your place and today I learned my place I learned that I'm modeling my maintenance life maybe off of something that's not realistic I'm modeling a maintenance life that's maybe not a hundred percent true and not as real as life is and I need to set my own path. <coughs> and that it's okay if once, you know, once in a while or every other day I put something in my mouth that's not 100% on the money because I'm at, me, I'm at my goal. I'm below my goal. Some days I'm 15 pounds under my goal. And it's okay to have stuff. And... The mental work will come in on balancing it. And so just for all you peeps out there, I have always wanted my journey on here to be 100% real. And that's kind of why for the last couple of months I've been coming on here saying I'm struggling in maintenance. I'm struggling in maintenance. I'm, I don't know how to get it. I'm not getting it. And because the reason why I wasn't getting it is, is because if I was on it 100% all the time, I would keep dropping in weight. I know I would. Um, if I can be up, I was up to 136. Now, like, I'm back down to 132. Just by doing the, the right things for a couple days, I know I would be in the 120s by next week if I was on it 100% protein first all the time. I would be in the 120s by next week. Guaranteed. So, I don't know. I've just got to focus on me and my journey. But I, wanted, I want to document this for others so that maybe others won't fall into this, this thing that I've fallen into with modeling others and that it can be hurtful to your own journey not to do that. You know, take bits and pieces of what you need from people and apply it to your own life. So, but I wanted to thank um, Black Candy, Diana. I wanted to thank Ashley um, for making her response today about the reality of maintenance. Um, Janie, of course, um, every day she gives me new reasons on how to turn things positive. 
And my first thing is I have to stop the negative self-talk and stop being so critical of myself and that this isn't some perfect thing that I have to manage, you know, that I have to get it just right and it has to be just right all the time. So that's my update. I mean, I'm 16 months post-op. I am, let's see, six months of maintenance. Um, I was 132 pounds this morning, so yay, you know, stressing over what, but I knew it would come right back off, it always does, so I'm down four pounds since last week, that's what I'm saying, why, because I was on it four out of the last five days, so I don't know, I just thank you guys for being real with me, and sometimes I think that... Being so wrapped up in the community with YouTube and Facebook that sometimes maybe that hinders our journey a little bit um, because it, it puts our mind in a spot where we can't clearly see the big picture on our own that we're automatically comparing it to others. So, I don't know. Just thinking. Thinking out loud. Thinking I want to go exercise my butt off, but I can't. Um, yesterday I had my... Second back procedure done. They did my right side nerve burning. So I walked a little bit, meaning not even a half a mile, and started feeling some pain, so I walked back home. So I ended up probably doing a mile, which was probably too much, but I cannot wait to exercise. I cannot wait to sweat my butt off. You guys just don't know. Um, so yeah, I think that's part of my funk, too, is I've got more time to think about crap. And when I exercise, especially outside... Um, that helps me work through a lot of this mental stuff. And I'm not, like, chewing on it all day because I'm not keeping myself busy. So, rambling, rambling, rambling. Um, but I appreciate it, you guys. And that's just my little update. Um, talk to you guys later. See you guys on the Back to Basics channel on Friday. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to the other channel, it's Back, the number two, Basics, WLS. Um, that's the YouTube names um, channel, and I'm the Friday vlogger on there, and we have great, great people on there every every day. So please check it out. I'll put the link below. Um, I got my Atlantic Coast meet and greet T-shirt on. Thank you, Tom. I am so ready. I'm so excited. Um, that's given me something else to look forward to. I mean, if I had it my way, I'd have a meet and greet like every couple months. Just so that I had something to look forward to, like get my weight loss surgery peep fix every couple months. Because it just makes you feel good to be around people that get you 200% all the time. So, alright, I'm rambling. You guys have a good night. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.